Think of blood glucose and sensor glucose like the cars of a roller coaster. Imagine that the hills and bumps on the roller coaster are like the changes in your glucose levels throughout a typical day. In the front car of the roller coaster is blood glucose, or BG. Remember, when carbohydrate is digested, glucose first enters the bloodstream, so BG is in the front car. In the back of the roller coaster is the sensor glucose, or SG car. Since glucose travels from the blood into the interstitial fluid, you can think of SG as following behind BG. Now think about going up a hill on the roller coaster as a rise or upward trend in glucose levels. As the roller coaster starts up the hill, you can see that the BG in the front car is leading the SG in the back car. Now as the cars head down the hill, or as glucose is decreasing or trending down, once again the BG is in the front car. Most often, the BG and SG numbers will be close to each other. You'll see a greater difference between BG and SG on the bigger hills or when glucose is changing more rapidly. For example, after food, after insulin, and after exercise. There are a few important things to keep in mind. Expect to see a difference in BG and SG. The two numbers will rarely be exactly the same. This is okay. Think about the roller coaster. Especially when glucose is changing rapidly, the BG value will be in the front car ahead of the SG value when going up and down the track. Don't forget, with CGM, the focus is not on the number, but on the trends. Knowing the speed and direction of glucose movement is more useful than knowing individual values.